it's uh, Zaptosh Media here again with another video and today we are going to talk about a relatively new artist. New but old if that makes sense and that would be Vivian Myers. She's an OG street photographer. She went the best part of 50 years taking photographs in the streets of Chicago, never showing anybody anything. Uh, there's a big element of mystery to her. I remember a footage coming out, I remember seeing the images and I, I, I remember them resonating really deeply with me. I, the woman was an artist, the woman was an artist, there's no two ways about it. She captured life as it was, it was very documentary style. And this video is literally going to be us trying to do something very similar. We're going to go out to the streets, go to my local town and take some street photography, which I must admit I feel much more comfortable doing street photography as opposed to doing landscape photography. Uh, I think mainly because it's a little bit easier. So we're going to shoot with the Canon today, different camera, Canon M50. I, I got it down off my shelf and tried it the other day, literally just to see what it would be like and I was really impressed with some of the black and white stuff that came out of it. And I figured because what I'm doing today is going to be more for black and white street photography anyway, why not hit the cannon and see what it's like? So that's what we're gonna do. So let's go guys. I don't like to call street photography street photography because although yes, the act of walking the streets, taking photographs could be deemed as street photography. I like the idea that you're taking snippet pictures of life. And so instead I like to call it life photography. It falls somewhere between portraiture and documentary style photography and is something I'm considerably obsessed with, especially at the moment since I've fallen down the rabbit hole of uh, researching other street photographers. On this video, I thought it'd be super cool to discuss an attempt to take some pictures in the style of Vivian Myers. I'm no stranger to Vivian's work, I remember it falling out of the woodwork a few years ago, and it was catapulted into the stratosphere and rocked the street photography world considerably. I, like many other people, related considerably with Vivian Myers' style. Her work encapsulates my own interpretation of life photography. She captured moments throughout her life in the format of thousands of reels of film, tape recordings and cinecam footage. These are all things we do today as YouTubers. Vivian's compositions have an extra flair of mystery because no one thoroughly understands her logic uh, or her choices to why she did what she did. And that's because she passed away before anyone could discover her secret. This adds an extra loneliness and naivety to her story and work. Fortunately, her work was discovered at a local thrift auction house in Chicago's northwest side. From there, it would eventually impact the world and change the life of the man who championed her work and brought it to the public eye, and that's John Maloof. He's effectively the curator of Vivian's life and bringing all these thousands and thousands of images and videos to the public for everybody to see and enjoy. Street photography is a way of documenting and encapsulating the present moment. Once captured, you have it forever, a still image holding the reflection of a time that has passed rather quickly. Anyone with a camera, regardless of skill or equipment, is capable of looking at life through the lens of a camera and pushing that shoot button. Whilst it requires an eye for capturing interesting shots, something I'm still practicing with, I feel it, it's a skill picked up relatively quickly in terms of the image telling us a story. Narrative in an image, for me, is the most important thing. It allows the viewer the opportunity to be in that scenario. The thing that makes me super excited is each viewer will interpret the image differently, and that's fun. I open this video up with the following quote. We have to make room for other people. It's a wheel. You get on, you go to the end, and someone else has the same opportunity to go to the end, and so on. And somebody else takes their place. That's a direct quote from Vivian Meyer. I believe her photographs, quite literally, are a ways of her cataloguing significant moments within her lifetime. And it's been said by people who knew Vivian that she would collect newspapers to the point where she would have stacks piled from the floor to the ceiling. This doesn't surprise me and points to the possibility that Vivian would go to great extremes to document moments within her life. My question is why? What motivated her to do what she did? Was it for the sake of creating art or perhaps related to her mental health? From my understanding of watching Finding Vivian Myers, excellent film that I highly, highly recommend if you've not already seen it. She did have quirks, certainly, but there's still and probably always will be so much that no one seems to know about her and that's 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 the interesting thing that's what pulls you in and draws you into Vivian's work
I wanted to create this video to honour the memory of Vivian Meyer. It's homage from one introverted person to another. I'm fascinated with the idea of being able to document my own life through photography, and it's something that I can pass on to future people or even family. Vivian, in my eyes, was an artist. She had an eye for capturing the right moment, whether that's a candid image of a child or documenting the harsh realities of lower class living in the 1950s. Vivian Myers is an absolute inspiration to me. She is an unknown who captured life through a lens. We don't know why or what motivated her at all. For all we know, she might have been a spy after all, and we'll most likely never know. If you like this video and you want to watch more, please consider subscribing to my channel. And if you'd like to support me further, the best way is to click that like button and help me get to grips with this YouTube algorithm. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.